Hello and welcome back to OC Avery. So as you can see, we're not in the bird room today, but rather in uh, my family's kitchen. So today we're going to be making some egg food for the birds in the conditioning period. Now this is different to the egg food that I make for the birds during the breeding season and obviously for rearing chicks because it has a different content, obviously for uh, different purposes in the birds. So this whole one today is just as a conditioning mix for the birds. Something I must note is that I don't add germinated seed to this mix, which I would usually add to the mixes when we're rearing youngsters because it's much better for them. Uh, and the reason being for that is that I'm trying to keep it on a point where I'll do egg food for um, conditioning like this today, one week, and then the next week I'll give germinated seed and that really just balances it out rather than one, um, one constant thing and getting them to take different things. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to blend everything up. So uh, we'll start off with the kale. So I'll just get a nice big handful of kale here. We'll shove that down into the blender. And in there like that. Uh, just make sure that's in so I can get everything else in. Now, uh, I have seen that other mixers include things like kiwi, for example, and the canary room. I'm going to be doing that with my um, mix actually specifically for uh, rearing rather than this mix. We're going to get some peas, so we're going to be adding some peas to this mixture as well. So I'm just going to do two spoonfuls. Um, you know what, I'll add two and a half and we'll go from there. Some broccoli as well. So. I'll add some uh, broccoli heads. Now it's important to note that with all this broccoli, I have actually broken off all of the stalks and cut those off. Uh, and the reason being is that the birds would rather pick at the smaller ends uh, than the whole stalks and uh, all the good stuff is actually in the ends of those. Uh, we'll get some conditioning seed and obviously this is going to help with the condition of the birds, but also encourage them to take the egg food mix because we'll be mixing all of this with a basic versalaga egg food that's a dry mix um, so we'll add i'm going to say three teaspoons of actually um just normal conditioning seed this is going to be nice for the birds obviously encourage them to take it and it's got all of the good stuff in there as well which hopefully uh, should make them uh, want to take it and help them then we've got garlic. Now it's important that you don't overdo garlic. Um, it obviously, it's quite a strong smell. So you're only going to need one clove of garlic. So it's a very, very small amount. So I'm going to just try and take the, the hard shell off of this one. Um, so that's really not much good for the birds uh, to leave the, the rather the soft centre. Uh, and that's where everything is. Now this is going to help with deterring mites from the birds. Um, obviously it's in the system and it's in the blood so it's coming through the skin and that's going to deter the mite from actually sucking the blood. Now that's generally the red mite, um, the northern mite or a little bit something different. Um, but either way, so there you are, a clove of garlic, that's going in there as well to be nicely blended up. Now also to this, I'm going to be adding some of the BioVetLine products. So here we've got new collie stock. Now this is a um, supplement for the prevention of black spot. Now, some of you may know that this is something that is commonly found in the um, young birds and is actually passed in from the parents. So I'm going to add some of this to the blender uh, and this is going to help remove the disease if any of my birds have got the black spot or carry the black spot bacteria. Um, and, the, and that's obviously going to be helpful during the breeding season because all the birds are going to be completely clear of it so that we don't end up with any issues during the breeding season. We're also going to add some proamine vet. Now this is to um, raise the protein index of the egg food. So I'm going to add uh, two scoops of that. Obviously an increase of protein in the birds is, is going to be great and help them come into condition. Now at this time of year, may, you may be thinking, well, it's the first week in January. The birds this is mainly for at the moment is the canaries and the crossbills. However, it will be going to everything, uh, but obviously in different quantities. We don't want goldfinches coming into condition for March. We'd rather them come in at about mid to the end of April and um, closer to the time they would breed in the wild. Now I'm also going to add some wheat germ oil. Now not too much in here. Uh, I just want to get that blended in for the birds. Uh, but mostly we'll add that to the, the mix actually after we've um, 
added it to the, the dry egg food, which is here. So we'll get the get all of that blending. Everything's been added, uh, and, and we'll go from there, and I'll see you once I've blended. Okay, so now we have uh, the, the live food mix, I guess, the, the vegetation mix to add to the dry uh, egg food. So that's all nicely blended now, as you can see. Really good mix in there. Um, one of the first things to notice about this is a really strong smell of garlic. Um, thankfully, my eyes aren't uh, watering because sometimes it's something you can get from that, and obviously as well as onions, um, it's not too bad. So just a quick scrape around the edges so we don't waste any of the mixture. And then take out the blade, just like that, and add that into our um, dry mix. So now once this is all in there, just want to make sure that none of it's wasted, getting it all out of there and into the egg food mix, just like that. Uh, it's now time that we mix that in, so it's there, we'll add a little bit more wheat germ oil, obviously this has got a lot of um, fertility um, vitamins and different things in there, a lot of uh, selenium as well, which is a, important for um, conditioning the birds and obviously the reproduction of the birds themselves. So that's in there, now I'm just going to mix that with my hands and probably a spoon as well and I'll see you once I've done that. Okay, so now we've got the egg food mix all nicely done there. So I've given that a really good mix round uh, and it's all worked in quite nicely with the dry egg food. So uh, one of the, the questions I want to answer with this is can it be frozen? Now I've always frozen it very easily just in a, that's a chocolate tub obviously for roses. Uh, I freeze it in that without a problem. However, if you are concerned of obviously mixing the dry and the, the, um, you know, the mix we've just made, uh, then just make your vegetation mix with all of the different things in there, put that in the freezer and then you can add it to your egg food um, as you see fit, but I always do that. Um, I, I give this once a week, so that would be very easy to just give to the birds. I'll just put it in a, an egg food drawer quite like this. Um, and just like that, that is your egg food for your birds in the conditioning process. So. It's important that um, you know, at least this mix, it would be fine for rearing the young birds on, but it's not something that I'll do. What I'll, I will do is when I've done that, um, and I'm going to do a further video on making one for young chicks, uh, and obviously for the rearing side and the actual breeding season, uh, once we've got some young canaries, hopefully which will be about March time, uh, I'll do another video on everything I add into that rearing egg food, but this is my um, conditioning egg food really uh, and obviously that's that's a really nice mix there's different things that I add uh, to this which I wouldn't with the normal breeding egg food and then there's things which with the breeding and rearing egg food I'll add other things um, carrot kiwi uh, for example uh, other things especially like live food or and um, I have frozen maggots and mealworms which I'll add specifically for the yellow hammers uh, and, and different things in that to boost the index of it, loads of different proteins, different vitamins, minerals, everything that the birds are going to need. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my conditioning egg food. Um, please leave in the comments below exactly what you think of it. Um, I hope you enjoy it and, and your birds enjoy it, obviously, and you, you think this is a good mix. I think that's really, you know, it's, it's one of the things I'm looking for. I, I'm really pleased with this and I think it, it always works nicely for me uh, and we'll be using that over the coming weeks so you'll see it in future videos so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all later so i hope you've enjoyed that video today make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos loads of tips loads of different videos on all of the different british birds and canaries that i keep make sure you hit that like button that shows me that you've enjoyed this video make sure you turn the notifications on so you get a no notification and an update every single time i upload so you don't miss any of my future videos make sure you share this video with someone else who's going to want to make some conditioned egg food just like this so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode